Hey guys, Jacob here. This is going to be my new updated FAMAS AR build in the post patch for update 3. I'll get right into it so you guys can see. Um, the first weapon I'm using is the FAMAS 2010. It's rolled for 16.4k damage. Optimus weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% of ammo missing from the magazine. This does require 5 or less uh, firearm stats. You can see I have 4 extra for the 20% magazine capacity and, and rhythm. While equipped, enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns can occur once every 60 seconds. Here are the mods on the weapon. I'm using a Pro.Sight Sight uh, with stability, a crit hit laser pointer, which is the under rail, and then I'm using the muzzle for the 20% stability. And no, you cannot get a magazine on this gun. You can see if you look at the weapon, um, there's only three mod slots. You cannot put an extended mag on there. That's why I'm using extra. And you could use Allegra if you really want to, or Stable, which if I could use Stable ones, I would do the fact this gun is kind of jumpy. Uh, but extra is really nice, so you get a few extra rounds uh, to use in PvP or PvE, depending on when you want to use this weapon. Next is Nemesis. This is the exotic sniper rifle. Most of you guys know what this is. 350k damage. Um, if you're not aware, this is a sniper rifle that was added a while back, and you had to get all the parts from it from collecting um, from different missions. But this is what the talents are. If you guys would like to read those, um, counter sniper shots fire deal zero to 100% weapon damage based on how long the trigger is held before releasing. The time on reach maximum weapon damage is reduced. Whoever is shot does not kill an enemy with it hits. The Nemesis. Um, aiming at an enemy marks them as Nemesis for 15 seconds, letting you see them through walls. Your shot gains 5% damage to Nemesis for each second. They are marked to a max of 50%. Then uh, preparation, while holstered gains 20% headshot damage when scoped with your current weapon. Uh, here's some of the optics you can see. This comes with the Nemesis. It gives you headshot damage, reload speed, damage to elites, which is actually really nice, and 15% um, crit damage. So I actually might be using this during the raid once it's released due to the fact that it hits really hard and you're also getting some damage to elites just from the uh, bipod. Next, I'll go over the gear. You can see I'm running 262,000 armor, 201,000 health with 243,000 skill power. This is mostly an offensive um, style type build. There are a few things that I would change, but I decided to flip and go back to the original design of this build and it still works. But I will tell you guys a few things that I might change in the future. Uh, first of all, I'm running three Gilga, the Murakami, and one Alp Summit. The mask is rolled for 22,000 health, 2% 2 crit chance, and health on kill. Um, and also, this mask will have um, this on it, which is self-adjusting. This was the original mask, but I wanted a little bit more health, so I decided to go with this one. Um, I still flip between them due to the fact that this has health on kill, which is really nice, um, but this has a crap ton of health and a little bit of crit chance. And it also has 10% health on kill, so you're getting health on kill um, just from the roll. So you, you could switch this with armor donation if you want, uh, but I think they work pretty well altogether. Next is the chest piece, which is the Amurakami Industries. 17,000 armor, 7% 7 weapon damage, and 22,000 health. And Vital, which is modified for 20% extra health. Any defense stamina mod with 6,000 health, 9% health regen, and 644 armor regeneration. Then the utility system mod with uh, skill power, pulse skill power, and high skill power. That's on there just pretty much to have on there if I ever use those. Then the uh, holster, which is rolled for 34,000 health with 15,000 health on kill. And you can see I only have one offensive mod in here. It's an old one with 1% weapon damage and 4% assault rifle damage. And I cannot throw one on here, and you guys will see why later why I do not have another one, which is right here. This is the Alps Summit Armament Backpack with 31,000 armor, 15,000 health. So you get the 10% cooldown reduction on your skills. And I'm using it because it's probably one of the best backpacks I have. And then you have Safeguard. Killing an enemy um, or killing a target grants 150% bonus armor um, or bonus to uh, repairing and healing effects for five seconds this can occur um, every 20 seconds requires four or less and is hardened for 10 percent armor and a utility system mod and an offensive mod which is not being used so i could actually have more damage on this build if i wanted but i would actually be getting rid of safeguard and i kind of want that just because um i don't use backpack talents that much so i kind of want to just use this just to have a little bit of extra healing and i don't know if this is correct they said they were going to change it um, to like 50% or something, so I don't know if that's correct or not. They still might have to change it, or they just change it in general back to 150%. I'm not 100% sure. Next is the gloves, which are the Murakami Industries, which have hazard protection for the two piece, 7,000 health, 10% of sorry full damage, and 5% weapon damage. Then the knee pads roll for 16,000 health with armor regeneration and has a defense mod or two defense mods, my bad, with armor and health. And you guys can see has extra incoming healing, total armor, explosive resistance, and armor regeneration. Um, that's going to be about it, guys, for the build. 
Um, I also show you the stats and the skills I'm running. I'm actually running two healing skills. I'm using the Minder Seeker, which is for the survivalist, uh, so I can heal myself while I'm in combat. Then I'm also using the Kim Launcher to heal myself in combat as well. Uh, but for PvP purposes, um, for fighting, sometimes I like to run a Pulse, or just in general, I will run the um, Stinger or my Striker Turret. My bad. Not the stinger turret um, but this is mostly just to attack npcs or hit players while they're shooting at me just to annoy the absolute hell out of them i don't use the defender drone as many people use it i do not use that so if you see that don't give me too much shit for having me unlocked i do not use it so um if i'm using this one it's usually just for pvp and i also use this as um healing and pve and pvp as well but that's about it for the skills as the stats you guys will see here um, these are all the gear talents and weapon talents if you don't look at them And here's the crit chance and crit damage and the weapon damage, 16,000 weapon damage, 7% crit chance, 25% crit damage, headshot damage is 55%, and you guys can see this stability is 25%, um, which is really nice. You can actually get that way higher if you throw the grip on there and get a little bit more stability. And you guys can see the offensive, which is assault rifle damage bonus, all weapon damage bonus, weapon handling, um, stuff like that, shotgun damage bonus. Um, then the armor, 260,000 armor, 1,209 armor generation, 201,000 max health and 109,000 health regeneration. Uh, you also see the skills aren't really that impressive due to the fact that I don't have that much skill power. Uh, but this is the build I've been running around with lately and it seems to be working for me. I will be changing a few things in the future. Um, but like I said earlier, one thing I'm gonna list, um, if you can get a holster like this one with a Fenris with um, two defensive stats and weapon damage on them, I suggest you use it uh, due to the fact that you can actually get 10% of sorrowful damage in PvP and PvE and use both of those, but I do not have that on due to the fact that it lowers uh, my stats to, um, you know, 3 and 11. But that's going to be about it, guys, for the holster. The next thing on the list is going to be a few other talents I suggest I might use in the future or that you guys might try using. Um, Unstoppable Force is one that works really well because it requires 7 or more. And you could use something like um, Bloodsucker, which is probably what I might end up using uh, as well just to test it out because I have not used it that much. But that does require 11 or more. And the last one, which is going to be Berserk. If you guys have more firearms and armor, I suggest use Berserk for the 10% weapon damage for every 20% of max armor that is depleted. They did change this, so um, it does require a shotgun, SMG, and a saw rifle. And it also requires um, 7 or more. Or, my bad, yeah, uh, seven or more. But that's going to be it, guys, for the video. Thank you all for watching. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.